Well, what was supposed to be a fun day of whale watching turned into a scary situation in Virginia Beach. Four people ended up in the hospital today after a rogue wave slammed into the boat hosting a tour they were on. More than 100 people were on board this morning and our reporter Allison Basil joins us now in studio with details. Allison, this is crazy. Yeah, Adriana, the aquarium says their Atlantic Explorer boat was carrying 124 passengers this morning when it was hit by a rogue wave passing through the Rudy Inlet. A mother on board says it was the scariest moment of her life. All you heard was screaming and there was this little girl just screaming, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. What was supposed to be a fun family outing for Kirsten McGrath's family is now a terrifying memory. She was enjoying the Virginia Aquarium's whale watching tour with her husband and two children Saturday morning when the boat was hit by a large wave. And just everything was just very quick. It happened so fast. We were laughing and having a good time and then boom, it just it just hit us like a brick wall. Video caught from a web stream on Surfline shows the boat just barely getting past the first street jetty when a wave crashes onto it, rocking it back and forth. A larger than average wave was coming in. Usually around the day it was about three to four foot. This one probably at least six to seven. TJ Johnson was surfing close by and saw it all unfold. The boat was about 45 degrees in the air like this with people yelling and screaming and it came crashing down and water went shooting everywhere. At the front of the boat, the McGraths were freezing, drenched and shaken. It was so bad that the pressure of the water just knocked me on my feet. McGrath says the wave dented the bow of the boat and knocked out windows. The whole cab was flooded. There was glass on, on the captain's deck. The aquarium says 124 people were on board and four were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. McGrath says she's frustrated seeing people making light of the situation on social media and says it's a day her family will never forget. My kids are traumatized. My son's five, my daughter's four. They never want to go back on the boat. And the aquarium tells us they have operated over 25,000 trips since 1986. And this is the first time something like this has ever happened. In studio, Allison Basil, 13 News.